Our Crafts just released an update that has been worked on for over a year. There are so many changes that even the pack offer himself forgot what he was working on. I went through the patch note and the pack offers video and here are the most notable changes. The temperature mod has been replaced by this one. It's basically the same but with better visual effects. You can now hide in shadows to cool yourself down, and yes, you couldn't before. The antique atlas has a new look now. It's much more detailed and takes up less of your screen. You can still drink raw water, but there's a chance that you get parasites. Speaking of parasites, Skate and Run Parasites is now in our aircraft, as if it wasn't horrible enough before. So high risk, high reward. For those of you who didn't know how to get into the Lost Cities dimension, here's how. You can't cheese battle towers now, because the golems are immune to vision rods. The battle AI is also much more sophisticated. The biggest change I would say is probably the lock chest. You either need a key or a lockpick to open these chests. I actually find picking locks to be quite fun, but I doubt it will be after doing it 20 times or so. There are quests now, over 300 of them. Have fun. The taming system is much more difficult and grindy, so don't expect to just tame a rock and beat the game. It may actually be useful to look for speed potions and travel on land. Running into walls too fast will kill you, cause like Spartan weaponry is better balanced now, so more incentive to craft different items to use, especially the pike. From what I can see, the pike developer is trying to make other playstyles more viable instead of just spamming mob summons. Linkenti's mobs got better mob models now, so I would still recommend Linkenti's Redux for more vanilla-like textures. So overall, you're still gonna be encountering similar types of mobs, minus the parasites in the Lost Cities dimension, but the difficulty no longer ends after you learn to tame a creature, and it takes much more to tame a creature, so you might as well check out alternative options. There are actually much more small changes, and probably some big ones that I've missed, so check the full patch note to learn of all the changes. From what I can tell, this update balances different playstyles quite nicely, so check it out if you're a fan of hardcore mod packs. I also have two other hardcore mod packs for 1.12.2 and 1.16.5. Check those out if you're interested. I'll leave the link in the description below. Alright, that's it. See ya.